In order to generate the wind loads, you need to convert the covers to exterior walls. For that, I go to the wind macro, choose generic building, choose external walls, and then start selecting the covers one by one. Select the cover with the right click, and then click on the outside of the building to indicate the exterior side. I select the walls as well. Let's perform multiple selection with control, holding down the control key and right clicking the first wall, releasing the control key and then right clicking the next one, hitting enter. So that's a multiple selection. After I've done all sides of my building, I can move up to the roof and choose the flat roof option, right click on the roof, and choose the direction. And I can see that the flat roof is defined. After I've defined all these exterior sides, I go to the generate wind load function and here I can see the parameters, which are the wind speed, the building height, automatically taken, and the terrain type. If I click OK, I can see that there are some loads applied to my building, some surface loads, and wind load cases have been generated automatically. Now I can combine these in load combinations. I can delete some of them, which I don't need that the building has now been assigned load cases and loads, surface loads from wind.